Division patterns with decimals. How can patterns help us place the decimal point in a quotient? When we multiply a number by 1, we get the same number. When we divide by 1, we get the same number too. The decimal point does not move. 1 equals 10 to the power of 0. So we can rewrite 1 as 10 to the power of 0. A number divided by 10 to the power of 0 is the same number. The decimal does not move. When we multiply a number by 0 0.1, we move the decimal point one place to the left. Multiplying by 0 0.1 is the same as dividing by 10, or finding one tenth of a number. So when we divide by 10, we move the decimal point one place to the left. 10 equals 10 to the power of one. So we can write 10 as 10 to the power of one. When we divide a number by 10 to the power of one, we move the decimal point one place to the left. When we multiply a number by 0 0.01, we move the decimal point two places to the left. Multiplying by 0 0.01 is the same thing as dividing by 100. When we divide a number by 100, we move the decimal point two places to the left. 100 equals 10 to the power of two. So we can rewrite 100 as 10 to the power of two. When we divide a number by 10 to the power of 2, we move the decimal point two places to the left. When we multiply a number by 0 0.001, we move the decimal point three places to the left. Multiplying by 0 0.001 is the same as dividing by 1,000. When we divide a number by 1,000, we move the decimal point three places to the left. 1,000 equals 10 to the power of 3. So we can rewrite 1,000 as 10 to the power of 3. When we divide a number by 10 to the power of 3, we move the decimal point three places to the left. As you can see, we have a pattern. When we divide a number by 10, 100, or 1,000, we can use the number of zeros in the divisor to tell us how many places to the left we move the decimal point. When we divide a number by a power of 10, we can use the exponent to tell us how many places to the left we move the decimal point. Let's take a look at a few examples. 28.5 divided by 10. 10 only has one zero, so we move the decimal point one place to the left. We get 2.85. 371 divided by 10 to the power of two. Two is the exponent, so we move the decimal point two places to the left we get 3.71. 128.3 divided by 1,000. 1,000 has three zeros, so we move the decimal point three places to the left. Fifty point thirty four divided by 10 to the power of one. One is the exponent, so we move the decimal point one place to the left. 173.2 divided by 10 to the power of 3. 3 is our exponent, so we move the decimal point 3 places to the left. 0 0.21 divided by 100. We have two zeros, so we move the decimal point 2 places to the left. 